What's up, all you cool cats and kittens? <laughs> but nah, um, it's your girl Tam here, and you are now watching Tam TV. So, think of this, I guess, as a vlog, if you will. Um, I'm really just doing this on a whim. Um, to give you guys some backstory, you see my little, my backdrop in the back. That's what I would usually film with, with a ring light. Uh, my nail popped off. This just shows you the kind of day that I'm having and the kind of mood that I'm in, to be honest, okay? Um, I couldn't give y'all glam today. The most y'all getting is this hair wrap and these earrings and this popped off ass nail because today is just one of those days where emotionally and mentally, I just can't. <laughs> I can't. It started off good, right? Honestly, this week started off great, but it is slowly but surely declining. And I just needed to get on camera and let y'all know how I feel. Um, first and foremost, I don't ever want y'all to think that this is a platform where your girl has it all together. I don't ever want y'all to think that this is a platform where I'm pretending to be somebody I'm not. I don't ever want y'all to think that this is a platform where I'm pretending to be somebody perfect because I'm absolutely the fuck not. That's one. Two, I use this platform um, to express myself and to express my opinions. Some of those opinions might not be what you want to hear. Some of those opinions might be unpopular, unpopular, but I'm totally okay with that. And three, um, this is very therapeutic for me as well. So if you have anything to say about anything that I just said, please kindly exit the video. You, nobody is putting a gun to your head to watch. Okay. Period. So with that being said, all opinions expressed on my own, and I'm going to tell y'all exactly how I feel right now. So I was gonna film this video, glam, makeup. I was gonna do a bunch of research, go way back to, you know, before Jesus was born, to way back to the caveman days to give y'all research and evidence and yada, yada, yada. But I just don't feel like I need to do that anymore because it's just building up in my spirit at this point. So I feel like I have enough to say that I wanna say to make a good video if you, you know? So, whew, my thoughts on marriage. <laughs> if you scared, run now. If you easily offended, click off right now. Because I don't want to hear it. If it's not a friendly debate or, uh, you know, it's okay. Like, we can be adults and, mis and, and, and you know, disagree, agree to disagree. But I just don't want to hear it in my comments, okay? <laughs> so, yeah, with that being said, I'm just gonna say what I have to say. Um, yeah, unsolicited negativity, that's what I won't tolerate. I, can, I will tolerate disagreeing, I will t tolerate, um, you know, a difference of opinion, but I will not tolerate disrespect, and I will not tolerate rudeness of any kind in the comments below, or you getting blocked and deleted, period. Um, so yeah. With that being said, um, the older I get, the less I want to get married. And not to say that I never will get married one day, because I don't want to put that into the universe. Because I very, very much want to be in a healthy, loving, stable, supportive partnership one day. But from what I see, marriage is ghetto. And let me tell you why marriage is ghetto. Because much like other things, it's one of those things that when you're little, they paint this picture for you. They tell you this idea that they want you to have. They tell you, you know, the, the, the ceremony, the dress, the decorations, the bridesmaids, yada, 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 fucking yada. Okay. But much like religion, they sugarcoat it. They add, they subtract they don't tell you the real. And that's the problem that I have with marriage, okay? Because they never prepared us for the real. They just told us, you do it under one nation, under God, you stay in it forever. You guys are in love. Love keeps you together. <sighs> Bullshit. 
they just told us a bunch of bullshit, okay? And I have grounds to say that because I'm an observer, okay? I'm a very, very observant person. And a lot of times I learn from other people's mistakes so I don't go through that same thing. But I know there are people out there with stable, working, loving, healthy marriages. But the people that I see around me and have seen around me in my life that have come in and out are not. Like Drake said it in a song one time, like everybody that I know that's married is miserable. Why is that? Because we have unrealistic expectations of what marriage should be. Everybody thinks that marriage is all roses and buttercups and daisies. And, you know, we're supposed to be in love with each other every day. I want to be around you every second of my life to my last breath. Okay, cool. There are some people that feel that way. But to be quite frank, I don't believe that marriage is just about love. It can't be. Love don't pay the bills. Love don't rate. Well, <laughs> okay, scratch that. Love don't pay the bills, and sometimes it takes more than love for you to want to keep somebody else around, okay? Especially because men and women are wired two completely different ways, right? That's why whoever I marry, we literally have to be on the same page mentally. It's a business decision, who are you going to part into partnership with for the rest of your days? Are they a good business, business partner? Do they know how to manage money? What does their family background look like? What kind of tendencies do they have? Are they hot-headed? Are they violent? What, what kind of fam, generational curses do they have in their family? Do they have a good relationship with their parents? All of these things play a factor, okay, with how your marriage is going to go because Every single person that I have heard say that they got married, they say that it highlights your weaknesses. It highlights, it amplifies the shit that you haven't dealt with, okay? People think that getting married is going to solve all their problems. People think that they're going to get married today and tomorrow their credit score is going to be 800. They're going to have edges. They're going to be have a six pack their problems are gonna go away because i'm loved for the rest of my fucking life somebody loves me no baby girl no and i just really wish that they would stop painting this picture of marriage as this fucking fluffy fucking cloud uh, like this field of butterflies and rainbows and llamas and cupcakes like it's a cakewalk okay because i could tell you something right now a lot of y'all husbands i'm not i'm not even trying to attack no one person. This I'm just speaking in general. But a lot of women's husbands are not just their husbands, okay? They're somebody's boyfriend as well. And they don't even know. They don't even know. They think that, oh, they found a couple of numbers in their phone. Oh, that's nothing. Stop calling them. Stop texting them. Delete the numbers. He's still calling, baby girl. Okay? I can tell you one thing for sure. After everything I've seen in this life... You can't put nothing past nobody. And I just hate this holier-than-thou attitude that some people have. I get it. I get it. But we need to start holding men accountable. I feel like that's why they, they feel like they can do whatever the hell they want and run over us the way that they do because we don't love ourselves enough to hold them accountable. We don't put ourselves first. And I don't blame you know, anybody in particular. I blame the way we were raised. And a lot of it has to do with religious beliefs. Um, not saying that it's wrong, that you believe what you believe, but the whole concept of putting yourself last, putting yourself behind a man, it just, something, some things just don't sit well with me and my spirit. That's why I'm going to take my good goddamn time to get married. I promise. I promise I will. Because <laughs> I guess you could say I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired, okay? These men will put you last in relationships. These men will put you last 
after you get married. These men will put you last when you having a child. These men will put you last like it's it's insane, okay? And I think that I've come to accept the realness, the reality of life is that nobody is perfect and everybody isn't who they say they are, whether you married or not. That's a hard pill that some women refuse to swallow. I stress the importance of alone time before you get married. And a lot of y'all might be like, well, bitch, you're not even in a relationship. You, you ain't even been married. You can't give nobody advice. Okay. Well, I'm just speaking off what I've seen and what I know to be true. I come home to my own place at night. I have my own things in my own name. I'm not bound to nobody in this world. Okay? Everything that I own has my name on it. My bank account, my apartment, my house, everything. Now, you're right. I, there's a lot of things I can't speak on, but I'm getting all over the place. But the point that I'm trying to make is alone time is very important. It's uncomfortable as fuck. I'm not saying it's easy. That's a, that's why a lot of people, that's why a lot of you are in relationships right now that you know sh good and damn well you shouldn't be in. A lot of you are in marriages right now that you know good and damn well you shouldn't be in because you, you were uncomfortable being by yourself. And I guarantee you that uncomfortability is worth it. It's worth your peace of mind. It's worth your future. It's worth your self-esteem. It's worth your confidence. It's worth your mental health because you're going to know and know well what you want after you've spent that time with yourself to really, really reflect. You're going to know what you want and don't want. Now, like I said, those of you who have found the one and have found the person that fits you and understands you and completes you, y'all have a good understanding and y'all are healthy and in love and it's beautiful kudos to you because I'm still searching and I can say that you know there are days like today when you know I'm emotional and sometimes downright fucking angry that I'm still single I've been single I haven't had a serious relationship since 2014 dated plenty but I don't feel anybody has loved me correctly thus far. So I know that day is coming, but until then, I just I just got to really be careful who I let into my space and my and my who I exchange my energy with because it's so 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 sacred. It's so much deeper than just I want to fuck I want company. I'm lonely. Come over. It's so much deeper than that. So all in all, marriage is a sham, but I do think you can make it work. <laughs> I think that the image that they try to sell us about marriage is bullshit. Um, simply because just like many things in this country, they like to sugarcoat it. But the reality is it's not a walk in the fucking park. And you, I just think more people should be careful about who they marry. That's it. That's all. And a lot of y'all's husbands are not who y'all think they are. That's all I have to say. Monogamy. <laughs> that's a whole nother story. But I got time, so let's get into it. Um... Monogamy is a choice. Women, I feel, are more monogamous than, than, than men. Because men will cheat on you for no fucking reason. Absolutely none. Do you know how many pregnant women have been cheated on by their husbands? I don't know why men feel the need to cheat on women while they're pregnant. That shit baffles me. 
But I've heard from a man in a relationship himself say that he thought that the woman that he first got together with, he wasn't attracted to her anymore after she had the baby. And that's a very, very harsh reality to face. And I think it's disgusting. I think it's disgusting. I think it's one of the lowest things that you could ever fucking do in your life is to fucking cheat on a woman while she's carrying your child, your literal seed, your legacy. She's about to birth your big head ass baby and you won't cheat on her? You fucking selfish, disgusting pig. I think that's so low. I think it's disgusting. But men will literally do it and have no other reason why. Because you want to know why? They've never been held accountable. Men get by on lies and bullshit. And we just are supposed to accept it and lay back like nothing is fucking wrong. I'm, I, I can't. I won't. I won't. I won't tolerate disrespect. It's just like enough is a fucking enough. You know? When you know your worth... Enough is a fucking enough. So it's just like, <sighs> I'll get into this story time one day, but I've dealt with, with a nigga in a relationship before. And that shit, I will never do that shit again ever in my fucking life. Because a nigga always going to want to have his cake and eat it too. And I'm not the one. All right. He's going to want to come lay down with you and tell you a bunch of lies and tell you a bunch of broken ass promises and then go right back to his girlfriend. And she's going to catch him cheating and she's going to be like, oh, well, it's okay. And go right back to him. And the cycle is never going to fucking end. Okay. Unless it's on some Tyler Perry shit, on some sister shit. And he leaves her and then goes to get with his girl and then kills his wife. It's just, you know, it's just it's too much drama, too much drama. I can't handle it. I can't handle it. I want my own nigga. I don't want your nigga. I want my own. And I want somebody that's going to choose me every fucking time. I refuse to be disrespected in that way. So I'm I'm kind of at a point where it's like, I don't, I'm not even surprised at anything I hear anymore. I'm not surprised about niggas being down low anymore. I'm not surprised about niggas being liars, cheaters, scammers, infidel, infidelitors, whatever the fuck you want to call that shit. I'm not surprised by none of it because I think they're the, I just, I won't get into it, <laughs> but it's hard for me to respect a lot of men. It's hard for me to respect them because they don't hold themselves accountable. Nobody holds them accountable. They lie to themselves. They lie to you. It's just a fucking web of lies and I'm sick of it. <laughs> I'm sick of it and I just had to let it out. This video might be all over the fucking place. But that's just the kind of day I'm having all over the place, okay? I tried to have a good week. It was Easter Sunday. I was very at peace. I had a self-care Sunday. Rested. Watched Ozark. Yes, Monday, I had a great day. It was peaceful. It was calm. And then boom. You know? The, the devil is trying to steal my joy. But I'm not going to let him. That's why I made this video. To just get it all off my chest. And say what I have to say. And I don't know if this is going to make any sense to anyone. I don't know if anybody's going to feel me on this. I don't know if anybody's going to be able to relate. But I said what I said. <sighs> I feel better. All right, y'all. I'm going to go eat lunch and edit this uh, video that I'm putting out this week. <sighs> I love y'all. Thank you for listening. Thank you, Tam Fam, for rocking with me. Put your hearts up. Put your heart up right here. I love you and stay safe.